good doggies. Hello YouTube, it's me again, G-Man, G-Man Adventures. Um, I'm showing you now, I'm still on my log, the same log I was on on the last video. I'm going to show you the sheath that I made for my uh, Yakari Puko. Tarava Yakari Puko. One of the best knives out there, in my opinion. Cheap as chips, strong, sharp, good steel, comfortable handle, brilliant. I won't go on about it because there's hundreds of videos on them. The worst thing about this knife is trying to spell it, trying to find it on Google. Yakari Puko. But here it is. Here's my sheath. I've got the 140 because I like a five inch blade and I've made my own custom leather sheath for it. First of all, four mil thick leather, strong leather. I've left a bit of a drain hole there. Yep. Nice thick leather, molded around the handle, so good retention. I wet molded that, put a fire steel holder on it for my friendly Swede, put a little leather tab on it just because it looks cool, doesn't do anything. Uh, Bit scratched up now. I like a dangler sheath so you can sit down, move about, and it'll just move, not get in your way, not digging your side. Let's take this out. Right, dangler with poppers so you don't have to take your belt off. There you go. Now people worry that it might come undone because it's got poppers on it, but it won't because there's an extra bit of leather there, which I've sewn on. So your belt actually goes through that. Then this comes over and pinches it and pops up. So. It's not going to come loose, even if your poppers are undone. It's not coming loose. Imagine that's pressed against your leg. It's not coming out. So that was a little innovation I thought of while I was making it. Yeah, so no need to take your belt on and off now. Stitch the tab on the end. I've got 5mm D-ring welded, so that will not break. That's impossible to break. wet molded a little pouch it's 80 centimeter 80 centimeters 80 millimeters by around 40 millimeters now it might fit a Falk Neven DC4 sharpening stone but I haven't got one because I don't use them I use DC 3s and I know it fits that but I built it that size just in case I do get a DC4 anytime. So that's my little pouch. It's got a Sam Brown to hold it shut and inside I've got a little fire striker, fire steel striker. Now we've all got a hacksaw. When your hacksaw blade's worn out put it in the vise, snap it off, put a little lanyard on it so you don't lose it. You've got an excellent fire steel scraper. Like that. But also, if you put your finger through there, that finger, 
you've got a mini saw. It's not the best saw in the world. I've, I've made it so that the teeth are backwards, so it cuts on the pull instead of the push. But if you ever want to do any little bits of cutting, for some reason, it might come in handy. But it's lightweight, it's thin, doesn't take up any room. What else have I got? Bits of cotton wool pad dipped, dipped in wax. Bit of tinder, bit of fire starter. In here is DC3. Which I've used loads, it's cracked along the back, but still works fine. I made a little uh, a little sheath for it from duct tape. In case I cut myself, I've got some duct tape. <coughs> Another piece of cotton pad. So yeah, but there, here's the real innovation. Undo that, pull that out. You've got three press studs holding it on. I've put a piece of leather on the back, treated with honing compound. I can sharpen with my DC3 and I've got a little leather hone on the back, just for honing the edge. Stick your finger in and push it out a bit, you get more. Yeah. What an innovation. My ultimate sheath. It clips on. It's weird trying to do it for the camera. One, two, three. Pretty bloody firm. But just in case, there's a piece of elastic shock cord there. Which slides under. One, two, three. Put all my stuff back in. Pop it closed. Fire steel. Ferrous rod. Hook the elastic shock cord back on. That's it. Brilliant. Lifetime sheath. Got everything you could possibly need and more. And if you've set up camp somewhere, you can unpop this, leave it at camp. If you don't need it, if you don't want to carry it all day, just carry the sheath. You can leave that behind. You can sharpen your edges if they get chipped. You can hone them. You can light a fire. You can carry bits of tinder. You could put, hang on. Bits of bark in there. I've been gathering bits of birch polypore or whatever it is. You can't really see, but that is pine resin. I've got a pocket full of pine resin as well. As you're wandering around, gather stuff. You might as well. Make sure you've always got it on you. Oh, it's gonna make my pocket sticky. I'll have to clean it all out later. <sighs> yeah. My ultimate knife sheath. 
other people like kydex and that but i like leather i make leather i like the look of leather i like the smell of leather it's all treated it's all waterproof what can you do and these knives are fantastic they're better than you think they're going to be literally they're even better than you think always put a bright lanyard on it so that if you leave it stuck in a log in the middle of the woods you'll find it again or we'll drop it in the leaf litter you can find it and it's also good for a bit of chopping you know wrap it around your hand chopper try not to stab your thigh <laughs> yeah that's the sheath love it make one get somebody else to make one it's to me it's the perfect knife sheath anyway See you later.